Next up, we're going to make the rockets do stuff. So this is very similar, actually, to the um, player class. And later on, you'll understand that this uh, the structure of this program could be improved upon. <clears throat> For right now, though, it's fine. So the rocket has some fields that keep track of various attributes, an X position, a Y position, Y velocity, X velocity, a color object that you're going to be working with, a size, and whether or not the rocket is active. It also has some constants that define various quantities that are fixed throughout its uh, lifespan, I guess. So it has a starting velocity, means it, meaning it shoots to the right at 20 pixels per frame. So this is uh, pixels per frame, again, as the units. Uh, the Y acceleration is gravity, so gravity will act on this. And the X acceleration, this is how fast, like... The rock, how, you know, like it's got rocket boosters on it. So how fast it's speeding up, speeding up. Like, you know, this is, again, pixels per frame that it's speeding up. Okay, so uh, in a very similar way to the uh, to the player constructor, I want you to give all the, um, the fields values to begin with. Now, this is fine. This is working well, so the rockets will all be white at first. In a subsequent video, in a later video, we'll do the um, other stuff. Once you give all of the... <clears throat> um, fields the appropriate uh, values. Remember, you can use the constants to set the values. Then I want you to come down to the update method where you'll do a very similar thing uh, to the player's update method where you have to update both the position based on the velocity and the velocity is based on the appropriate accelerations. Uh, and that is uh, to do statements 7 through 9. 